Hello and welcome to La Vida Football. My name is Luis Laureano. I am a UEFA B licensed coach. Today's video is on the Belgian national team. The Belgian national team has many strengths. They have high quality players, they have a top goalkeeper, and they have been performing well in the previous international tournaments. So for this video, we're going to analyze some of the counterattacks that have made this team so strong. More specifically, we're going to look into the Euro round of 16 game against Portugal. But first, let's take a look at some of the history. In the last few international tournaments. Going back to 2014 during the Brazil World Cup, Belgium made it to the quarterfinals in which they lost 1-0 to finalist Argentina. In 2016 during the UEFA Euros, they made it to the quarterfinal as well and they lost to Wales in this tournament. After that tournament, in August 2016, Roberto Martinez was assigned as the new Belgian coach and as a Spaniard, many expected for this team to be possession-minded, but Roberto Martinez had a different plan with this team. They like to play a little bit more direct they like to be efficient with the ball and they like to score goals so that mentality was used in the Russia 2018 World Cup tournament. This tournament was very special for the Belgians as they made it to the semi-final in which they lost to France, the eventual champions, 1-0. The game was back and forth. There was many opportunities to score for the Belgian national team, but unfortunately it wasn't the game for them to win. They did, however, win third place. They beat England 2-0 for that third place position. So today, during the UEFA Euro 2020, they just beat Portugal 1-0 in the round of 16 and next they have a game against Italy in the quarterfinal match. So it's going to be interesting to see how that develops but based on their history it would almost seem as if they're going to progress at least to the semi-final. So for this video we're going to look into the game against Portugal. We're going to look at some of the attacking strategies and we're going to analyze some of the plays defensively and on offense so that we can better understand what it is that this Belgian team is doing to pose a threat every time they have the ball. So let's begin. So we're going to start off with defending. If we take a look here we can see that Belgium like to defend deep they like to defend with five in the back and in the center they like to have that compact with two number sixes and either what we can consider a five two three or it could also be a five four one if these two players track back leaving Lukaku by himself up top now when we consider that we can see that there is a lot of open space on the edges so there's space right there and then there's this open space here okay so now that space is very important because because if Belgium is to win the ball, they have, like I mentioned, Lukaku there ready to get the ball. But if they are to win the ball on, let's say, for example, the right side, then this left side would be open for either Hazard to, to get into that space or to recover the ball there. But then you have the other Hazard here who at any point can go up the pitch, take that space, get the ball and essentially run up the field. So now defending deep forces Portugal to essentially move up the pitch and forces their, their team to essentially go into the offensive half. Now this plays directly into Belgium's counterattack game because it opens up the spaces on the sides like we mentioned and it has players close enough to each other to connect and essentially build out should they win the ball okay so it's important that the lanes are open it's important that Lukaku stays up high and occupies one of the center backs if not both and that there is a numerical advantage in the center of the pitch so as we can look here there is a three versus one if the ball is to get recovered in the middle which would be perfect for counter-attacking this would be a great situation for Belgium to attack and move up the pitch and essentially be a threat at any given point so next let's take a look at the counterattack. So here we have a free kick for Portugal. The ball gets cleared out. There are four players from Belgium waiting outside the box. Everybody else is defending. But here, as soon as the ball is won, those four players become six moving forward at full speed and more importantly, through the center. Now, running through the center, that requires Portugal to cram in the center. And furthermore, cramming in the center opens up the outside lanes. And this essentially can lead to a shot on goal, corner kick, or at the very least, an attempt. Okay. Okay, so here we have another counterattack situation. The ball has just been recovered here and it is going to get passed to Eden Hazard who with his quality can retain the ball, can keep possession and make a good decision. So by having the ball be in the center, I mentioned earlier that it requires the defenders to, to cram into the center, obviously to try to recover the ball. But on the other hand, it allows for space on the outside lanes. So in this particular situation, Eden Hazard can manage to get through the Portugal defenders and play the ball out 
to the left side to the other Hazard and with nobody to stop him right away he can essentially move the ball all the way up the pitch. Now the biggest question is why does it work for Belgium? Many teams are actually trying to impose the same strategy. You sit back, you defend and you counterattack. Usually that's the strategy that teams use when they play against what they consider a strong opponent. But here's the thing is that Belgium is no weak team. Belgium is considered number one in the FIFA rankings. So why are they playing this way? When in reality, Belgium have the quality, they have the players, and they have a Spanish coach who can essentially be a little bit more possessive minded. Now, the reason this works so well is because they are focused on attacking. They are focused on direct play. And usually teams play this way who don't have the quality to maintain the ball who don't have the quality to get out of pressured situations but Belgium have players like Eden Hazard they have players like Kevin De Bruyne Lukaku Dries Mertens Thorsten Hazard Axel Witzel and these are all players who are good players technically so now when you put these players together to play a counter-attacking style it could be very dangerous because Lukaku can stay up very high up the pitch against two defenders two center backs and he is big enough to win the first ball and he has the quality to control that ball both in the air and a hard ball on the ground on top of that Lukaku is fast he's quick for his size he can still get around players he can still outrun players and because of his big body he can essentially use his size to outmuscle the opponents now this is a huge recipe for success and this is why Belgium have been so successful is having high quality players playing direct trying to be efficient trying to create goal scoring opportunities in almost every situation that is exhausting for opponents and this is why Belgium is so successful they are playing a very direct style and they're doing it with very high quality players so now I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you like it kick that like button and if you haven't already subscribe to the channel turn on your notifications so that you get notified every time I come out with a new video if you have any suggestions for any other videos comment that in the comment section below I appreciate your support. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Ciao.